Good morning all. This is Swapna. Welcome to Advanced Neural Networks video. Today's our topic is Neurodynamics Introduction. Neural networks viewed as a non-linear dynamical system with a particular emphasis on stability problem is referred to as Neurodynamics. That means neural networks are represented as non-linear dynamical system and emphasizing on the stability. Then we can call that neural networks as Neurodynamics. The presence of stability always implies some form of coordination between the individual parts of the system. Bounded input, bounded output stability criterion is, means that the output of the system must not grow without the bound. So, output is not grown without the bound as a result of bounded input. This is essential condition. And this type of stability criterion is well suited for the linear dynamical systems. For non-linear dynamic systems, Lyubnow represented a fundamental concepts of stability. That criterion known as direct method of Lyubnow. And this is well suited for the linear as well as non-linear systems. And both the time variant and time invariant are systems also it well suits Lyubnow direct method. The neurodynamics which follows the two roots. The two roots are deterministic neurodynamics and statistical neurodynamics. First one we are still knowing about the deterministic neurodynamics in which neural networks are having the deterministic behavior and a set of non-linear differential equations defined as a function of time. In it is shows deterministic behavior and a set of non-linear differential equations are shown as function of time. This type of neural networks we can call deterministic neurodynamics. And second type of rule, statistical neurodynamics. Here, it pres uh, noise is present in this type of neural networks and stochastic non-linear differential equations are shown as probabilistic terms. In this statistical linear differential equations are shown as probabilistic terms. In deterministic, it is shown as a function of time. In statistical neurodynamics, non-linear differential equations are shown as probabilistic terms. These are the two roots of neurodynamics. Now we are going to know about the dynamical systems. Here we are starting with the mathematical model or mathematical representation of dynamics of nonlinear system. So, it well suits for the state space model. States uh, in this state space model, state variables are used whose values are contains the information which can use it to predict the future evaluation of the system. In state space model, state variables are there. These contain the information which is required to predict the future evaluation of the system. So, that state variables are generally denoted as x1 to xn. These are the state variables of the nonlinear dynamical system. And these where continuous time is represented with the t and it is the independent variable. N is the order of the system. How many uh, variables are there that we are shown with the capital N. And state variables, these whatever the state variables are that are collected are represented as N by 1 vector. N by 1 vector. This vector we can call as a state vector of the system. In state space model, state variables are represented like this x1 to xn. N is the order of the system. And what there is a one independent variable is there which is continuous time. It is represented with the small t. And these state variables are represented by the vector which is we can call as a x of t. Which is the notation used as per, to represent the state vector is x of t. The dynamics of a large class of non-linear dynamical systems may be in the form of first order differential equation. So, non-linear dynamical systems shown as a first order differential equation. What is state vector here representation x of x t. If you are applying the first order differential equation then it is shown like this. 
differential we are applying on this state vector first order differential then we will get the fj of xj of t j value is from 1 to n 1 to n n is the order of the system if you are applying the first order differential equation then you will get this type of function so weight the function fj is general non linear function vector notation for this is already i shown you so if i apply the first order differential equation on this state vector then you will get the non linear function vector notation f of x j of t or we can say f of x of t we non linear function f is a vector valued and each element operates on corresponding to the element here in this each element is operates on corresponding to the element in state vector so it is does not uh, depend upon explicitly on the time it doesn't depends on a time explicitly if uh, then we can call it is the autonomous system if it is depending explicitly on the time variable then we can call it is a non autonomous non autonomous function a dynamical system is a system whose state varies with the time so then if it is varying the state vector with the time then it is called dx by dt we can call as a velocity of vector and f of x we can call as a vector field these notations are used to represent velocity vector dx by t and f of x notation is vector field now we are going to know about the state space what is state space it can be the euclidean space or subset or it can also be a non euclidean space or it can represented as a circle sphere tortoise or differential manifold if it is a euclidean space then it is represented as a subset state space if it is a non euclidean space then it can represented as a circular sphere or any other shape this state space is important because it provides the visible conceptual tool for analyzing the dynamics of a non linear system state space is visible representation of analysis of non linear system that is it is a visible representation of neurodynamical system and here what it is shows first order differential equation of this one only changes in the state of the system with the time are represented as changes in the state of the system with the time is represented as a curve in the state space with each point on the curve carrying a label that records the time of observation this curve we can call as a trajectory or orbit of the system so change in the state of the system with the time is represented pictorially as a curve that curve we are calling as a trajectory orbit of the system what is trajectory or what is orbit of the system is it is a state changing with the time in the system representation that we can call as a trajectory or orbit of the system so here it is a trajectory representation the curve which changes state of the system with the time these are the time uh, different time observations we are given and some dash line is also the what it is velocity of the system so instantaneous velocity of the trajectory is represented as a tangent vector or dashed line so instantaneous velocity of the trajectory is represented as a dashed line or tangent function dashed line or tangent function and the family of trajectories for differential initial conditions is is referred to as t portrait of the system here one trajectory we shown if we want to show as a family of trajectory with the different initial conditions then we can call it as a state portrait of the system state portrait of the system this state portrait includes the those points in the state space where the vector field is defined this includes the all the points of the state space where the vector field is defined on different times and state portrait is a flow of a dynamical system defined as the motion of the space of states within the itself so this is a state portrait 
what is state power right family of trajectories here we shown only the one trajectory what is trajectory state of the system changing with the time that visible representation we can call as a trajectory a family of trajectories with the different initial conditions is we can call as state portrait here this is the representation of state portrait here given a state portrait of a dynamical system we can construct a field of velocity vectors one for every point of the state here we can construct a velocity of vectors one for every state space the picture obtained in time provides the portrayal of vector field and also we can represent another type here it is showing the vector field of the dynamic system it is here it is showing state portrait state portrait or phase portrait of the dynamical system in this picture it is showing the vector field of the dynamic system usefulness of the vector field lies in the fact it gives as a visual description inherent tendency of the dynamical system so here it is showing as a vector field of a dynamical system next for the state space to have the solution for the applying the first order differential equation to get the solution we need to impose the one condition or some certain restriction on the vector function to get the solution for this impose the certain restriction or one condition to get the unique solution for this vector function if f of x is continuous for, of, for all of its arguments to get the unique solution imposing restriction is known as lips condition lips condition the restriction imposed into the vector field to get the unique solution is lips condition so let modulus of x denote the norm or euclidean length of the vector euclidean length of the vector is represented like this and s and b s and u are the s uh, sorry x and u are the pair of vectors in open set x and u are pair of vectors in a open set m in a normal vector space according to the lips condition there exi exists a constant such that such that for all x in x and u in m for all x and u in m so this type of there is a one constant exist by according to the lips condition and it is shown like this x and u are vectors on a open set so function of x minus function of u function of x and function of u subtraction of these two is less than or equals to k into x minus u so these are vector functions vector function of x vector this is the vector function of u vector if it is satisfying this type of condition then k we can call as a lipschitz constant lipschitz constant it also implies the continuity of the function with respect to the x in case of autonomous system lipschitz condition lipschitz condition guarantees both existent and uniqueness solution of the state space all partial derivatives are finite and f x function of x satisfies this condition next one is the divergence theorem in this divergence theorem b and s are there these are a region of volume v and surface of s in the state space of an autonomous system assume a flow of point from this region and here state space volume is represented with the v and surface is represented with the capital s the region of volume and surface are in the state space of autonomous system assume a flow of point velocity vector is equals to the vector field so what is velocity vector dx by dt is equals to the vector field this vector field within the volume is well behaved and this is the divergence theorem so what is divergence theorem means it is shown like this with the s and v s is the surface of the system surface of the state space surface of the state space of autonomous system v is the volume of the state space autonomous system 
द रिलेशन होल्ड्स बिटवीन द वॉल्यूम इंटीग्रल ऑफ डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स एंड द सर्फेस इंटीग्रल ऑफ आउटवर्ड डायरेक्टली इज ए नॉर्मल कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ एफ एक्स एंड दिस इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन दीज टू इज शोन इज लाइक दिस एंड इंटीग्रल ऑफ वॉट वी कैन से इंटीग्रल ऑफ फंक्शन वेक्टर विथ दिस सर्फेस इट इज ए flowing out of region surrounded by the closed surface and if this quantity is zero if this quantity is zero the system will we can call as a conservative if it is a negative the system is dissipative in this also if the divergence of delta of f of x which is scalar is zero then system is the conservative if it is negative then the system is dissipative state space of volume of integral of like this if it is shown it is equals to the zero means it is system we can call as conservative if it is negative system is dissipative this is about the introduction of the neurodynamical systems by this i am concluding this video we'll meet in the next video thank you